this is a real battle that's brewing on John McCain and his friends on the one side, Senator Rand Paul and some others on the other side. Uh, one congressman from Michigan, Justin Amash, tweeted, Senator McCain called Senator Paul, Senator Ted Cruz, and me wacko birds. Bravo, Senator, you got us. Did you come up with that at uh, hashtag dinner with Barack? Uh, so who are you with, the McCains or the Rand Pauls? Well, I'm really disappointed in John McCain. And I'm very saddened by it. McCain, in his younger years, was a great maverick. He took on his party all the time. Uh, the idea that he's now lecturing the next generation because they have the guts to stand up, which is, I, I would have thought John McCain would have applauded them. He would have said, I may not agree with you in detail, but I'm proud of the fact that you're standing up for your beliefs, you're fighting. I don't know what's happened to John McCain, but I find this very sad. But on the substance of the issue, whether or not... Uh, the, uh, the Obama administration needed to spell out the use of drones against U.S. citizens on U.S. soil. Who, who's right, McCain? Ron Paul's right. I mean, if our Constitution means anything, it means that your government can't capriciously kill you without the rule of law. And it was very clear from the Attorney General's earlier letters that they were reserving the right. Remember, we're not talking about combatant engaged in fighting against the U.S. The minute you do that, you lose all your rights. But it's okay citizens. to kill uh, American citizens in Yemen. Uh, who are right? combatants. Like Anwar el Awlaki. Who, who is actively... You don't have a problem with that. Who is actively advocating the killing of America. Look, if you if you say there's an American walking down the street with a nuclear weapon, which he intends to set off or she intends to set off in the next 12 minutes, you don't have to go to court. The president and his commander-in-chief can say, kill them. That is a direct act of combat. But if you say... We have a guy over here who sort of may be plotting, and we may sort of think about he could eventually be serious, because they had stretched this a long way, and they were beginning to kill people who were not directly engaged. I am very, I'm, I'm a real conservative in the sense that I don't want the government to have the ability to take away your life. And frankly, uh, uh, Senator McCain seemed to think that it was outrageous to suggest this. Does he know nothing of history? If uh, Anwar al Awlaki were spotted in uh, New Mexico, I think that's where arrested. he was born. What, what if you couldn't find him, but you, you heard he was located at a certain location, if, and that's obviously a very hypothetical right, scenario. If he was actively planning the killing of Americans, and you knew that. Now, in al case, he was on the Internet all the time saying, go kill Americans. From Yemen. From Yemen. And, but, but he also set himself up. You know, let me give you a specific example. The... Major who who's yelled Allahu Akbar and killed people at Fort Hood. Yeah. Had he been killed in the act of that exchange of fire, would have been perfectly legitimate self-defense for the United States. Had somebody known as he walked in he was going to do it, they could have stopped him even with the use of force. Because somebody who walks in with an armed weapon who you have a reason to believe is going to kill people, you're allowed to intervene against. But let's say he'd gone to a meeting and he had a conversation and said, you know, someday we should really do something. Well, you arrest him for that and try him, you don't just kill him. What do you make of the split that appears to be emerging among Republicans on this very sensitive issue? I think there's a deeper split, which is a, which is a split about tone. There are some Republicans who are so used to going to nice restaurants in Georgetown, and they're so used to hanging out with their friends in the establishment, that the tone bothers them. Uh, I saw nothing that Rand Paul did that was inappropriate. In fact, it was exactly why the U.S. Senate extends to individual senators the right to talk forever. I'm from the House. We used to get one minute. Right. Uh, but the Senate has a very different tradition of individuals standing up. So I thought Rand Paul was behaving in the best tradition of the U.S. Senate. And I thought for a guy like McCain, who had always been a maverick, who had, had reveled in opposing his party's establishment, to now be the, the sort of senior lecturer on behalf of uh, how you should behave, I just thought it was a very sad moment. What do you